welcome to the show. It actually is a really, really good Monday. It is. It's it's phenomenal. Um, so I I have a lot of callers on the on the call log. If you want to call in, the number is 845-277-9139. So if you have a question, call into the show and I'll be happy to um, answer your question. Any questions posted on the YouTube feed, I won't be able to get to them for two reasons. Number one, I would have to go in so close to be able to read it. <laughs> Nobody needs that much of a close up of this. Okay, just saying. And second, because um, the people on the call log have been waiting like 20 minutes to get um, through to me. And I work better um, on an audit auditory basis, like where I'm hearing things rather than reading something and trying to type the answer back or answering the answer. So 845-277-9131. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, this show is running live YouTube. So every Monday at noon, I run live via YouTube for 30 minutes. And then it is sent over to WSCS which is the TV show that I have so that it can be run live on um, WSCS. I do have a second show, Create a Life You Love. And since all of this has happened, um, the studio is shut down, which is why I'm doing the show this way. I've gotten very casual, by the way. <laughs> it's casual Friday every day <laughs> when I'm doing my show now. <laughs> It's okay. I'm happy with it. This is who I am. This is how like workout clothes, exercise pants. That's, that's my jam. I just love that. Okay. So, um, yeah, I can bring my leg up on the chair. I'm very casual during my show now. Oh, um, okay. Create a life you love. I am going to start doing create a life you love on YouTube. It has a bit of a different format. Um, I, I may work with someone on the phone for create a life you love to do interviews, which is how I did create a life you love in the past. I had um, people who had taken their purpose, turned it into their passion and made it their career or their side hustle and interviewed them. Well, now I am, sometimes I'm going to be doing that. But I'm going to talk about a lot about the dynamics of how do you get there? Because we all have a purpose. We all have a passion. We all have this thing that says, um, my soul, in my soul, this is what I really want. In my soul, I, I'm so passionate about this or I'm so passionate about that. So I'm going to talk a lot about <clears throat> what does it take to get where you want to be? What mind frames, thoughts, programs? And I'm going to work to help um, clear old mind frames program, so on and so forth. One of them that I thought of this morning that I'm going to do a clearing for everybody right now. And <clears throat> if you're new, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, during this show, I, I do a lot of clearings or healings. I believe it's really good to get to get an answer. Oh, you're going to meet somebody in June. Okay, awesome. But you know what? It's going to be the same train wreck it was before because we didn't work on ourselves. We didn't heal what we needed to heal. We are the same person, but now we have more baggage from the last relationship. Or we go into the next job thinking it's going to be my, my boss is going to be the same. My coworkers are going to be the same. I'm going to get used or abused. So we take all of that with us. So in my shows, I like to do some some healing. So if you go back and listen to past shows, there are so many healings or clearings about finances, love, relationship. Those are all the biggest things. Um, what I'm going to clear right now is we believe things work out for the best for us. And I'm definitely getting a no. Ooh, so we're going to clear that as anybody listening, re-listening, that's what we're going to do. 
Okay, I want to get to the first caller um, because that is what this is about. People calling in, asking one question. If you are on speakerphone, please go off of speakerphone, please. Your background noise will show up in the show and eh, nobody wants to hear that, okay? Um, so if I call out your area code and you are on speakerphone, please get off speakerphone, ask one question or one connection with a loved one on the other side. I'm going to go first to dun, 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 270. Hey, 270, how are you today? Um, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is Joy, and I'm calling from Kentucky. Hey, Joy. It's been a minute. Oh, but your energy is always so <laughs> sweet to get into. I love it. Okay, Joy, what's your question or connection? To, yeah, I just have, if you're watching on YouTube or you, as soon as your energy comes through, I just get this big smile on my face. Like you come from the heart. You really do. Okay. So what's your, what would you like, uh, what's up today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I have a court date tomorrow, um, a joint custody petition, and I'm kind of anxious, and I wanted to ask how you see that going. Okay, so the first thing I hear is good, okay? Um, okay? Now, good can mean fair, but it can also mean some things, okay, some things you want are going to work out in your favor. You have, like, justifiable evidence or proof, and it's going to help you, Um However, don't be disappointed if you don't get everything you want, okay? Um, okay. And here's one thing I just, I want to say, you know, um, well, that that's a whole show. But basically, um, <laughs> I don't think I, if I start saying what they want me to say, that that will take that will encompass the rest of the show. Um, so remember, everybody comes into everybody's life with a purpose and for a purpose. So this agreement that you made long before you came in, yada yada, for this uh, situation, living situation. Um, it's, it's folding out now. All you can do is kind of keep your moral compass high and work within those parameters. Um, that is going to be your saving grace through this. That is going to be uh, what how you need to handle this. Um, the, the court date is going to go good. There will be one little thing that's a bit disappointing, but beyond that, I think some things are going to go in your way that you're really passionate about. Um, so just uh, acceptance is the key word here. Okay, love? Okay. Excellent. I, I hope this was helpful and I can't wait to hear how it turns out. No, oh, definitely let you know that was very, I, very helpful. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Now, I have two questions for you. I see, I, you know, I think in the past when you've been on the show, your grandma has stepped in, and I see somebody who's like a grandpa yes. who who is standing next to her. Yes. That's why I am, a, and he was really thin, right? What mm -hmm. did you have a grandpa that was very yes. thin? Okay, and he well, especially next yes. next to her, she he was thin. Now what I I see him in overalls like those bib jeans. I don't I don't know like yes. well yeah that's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely, so, he wore them religiously. Oh my god! So I'm so happy. At first, 
Listen, at first, sometimes when I see things, I'm like, "Is my? are you guys messing with me? Are you playing with me? But I, I'm so happy I said that. And then I, the thing I want to say is he's saying, um, you know, for everything he went through in his life, he was very strong, right? And uh-huh. he yeah. wants, yeah. he's, he wants to put that strength on you. He wants you to, uh-huh. um, I don't like it. I, I can't say it like that. He wants you to, um, <laughs> <laughs> he wants you to <laughs> be strong is how I'm going to, this is a show. It goes on TV. I can't, I can't say certain things. We have to uh, say, instead of saying it the way he's saying it, uh, get your man on. Um, be through this. And they're not only talking about tomorrow, but they're talking about future dealings with this person. Behave as though you are a man. And men, they are sometimes uh, unapologetic. This is the way it is. I I don't have to be nice to you just because you're in front of my face. Right. We can be professional, Absolutely. like, like uh, very professional, clean cut. Okay, thank you. Bye. Have a good day. I said bye. Yeah. Boom. I thank you. I said bye. And then just turn your little booty around and walk away. Leave them talking in the wind. Um, you don't have to be nice or bend over backwards in this case. It's more important that you focus on and the word they keep using is morality. Teaching your children the morality or morals to bring everything to center. Okay. That's, and that might not be as important right now as it's going to be later on, but they're letting you know, this is going to be very, very important. (laughs) Good, good, good. Well, Joy, thank you so much for calling. I'm so happy that I was able to talk with you. Every time you hit the nail on the head. (laughs) Oh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to get that confirmation. (laughs) Um, yeah, the guides, you know, people's angels and spirits are, are really, really powerful and they will give you that peace of mind or that information that you really need to help make things easier or better in your life. So I'm happy that they are able to come through for you today and help you out and, give you that peace of mind and, and that heaven stepped in to say hi and to let you know they're watching out for you. They're, they're both going to be with you. Um, and you're going to, you're going to have a, a little victory, but there is going to be something that you don't love completely. So take the good with the bad is basically what they're saying. Okay, love. Okay. And Oh, okay. here's, oh, a, here's the you. last thing yeah. is, do okay. you, know somebody named Greg Gregory on the other side this person has been like saying their name to me for like three days um Greg or Gregory um I don't know if this is associated with you or somebody else that's listening or going to listen um I don't (laughs) okay well then it must be for somebody else so uh thank you again for calling in I'm gonna go to you oh I'm so happy when I hear your voice. I just have to say that. Likewise. Very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in again. Uh, keep me posted on how everything goes tomorrow. And oh. until next time, make some miracles. Okay. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. That is 856. Hello, 856. How are you today? I'm good. Hi, this is Laura. Hi, Laura. Where are you calling from? I'm in New Jersey. Awesome. How can I help you today? I just wanted to know, I'm I'm wondering about any changes in a job or making a move. If that's possible, if that's coming up, I'd like to know. Okay. Give me a second here. You know, Laura, um, 
you're the one I was getting this message for. I think you're the one I was getting this message for earlier. Um, I I don't know for sure, but um, I'm I'm asking them questions right now. So the first question I ask is, are you going to make a move? Yes. Are you going to move jobs or get go to a new job? And they're uh, like, that's a like you could if you wanted to, if um, if the right kind of like if the right thing comes along. But one of the things I'm getting or I was getting earlier today and I've been getting it on a couple of my shows is um, it's it's a really tricky time in our world. And I have a lot of messages that come in about what's going on in our world. So I know the story behind the story. There's the story they're pushing at us and then there's the story. And anytime, okay, I'm not I'm not going down that road today. But here's what I'm going to say. Um it's really important for you to know and it it you do everybody has this purpose, everybody has this passion and Bringing some of that to the surface is so important for you right now. So even if there's something, and I, this is the most, I'm just going to say it. Okay, my mom, God bless her, had created this cake, a cannoli cake. Now, there are other cannoli cakes out there, but my mom's was very unique the way she made it the frosting everything and she would de she would decorate she used to bake cakes for an italian bakery she used to bake um wedding cakes um, and she did all of this while she had her 40 plus hour a week job and children at home so the purpose of this story that they're saying i think is you have something inside of you that you need to bring out and do. And it, maybe you have a specialty pie that you can make and sell for Easter or give away for Easter. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But they keep hitting this cakes and pies, cakes and pies. Maybe it's because I let too much sugar go out of my body. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's personal, but I'm going to tell you, they are really, even at the beginning of the show, when I was talking about my other show, purpose and passion are everything to our soul. Freedom, purpose, passion, being able to do that thing, even if we don't know what it is at this moment, it's usually something, it comes so naturally to you, you're like, ah. No, that can't be it. I mean, I can't tell you the number of psychics that told me this is what I was supposed to do before I started doing it professionally. Um, and I would be like, oh, no, that I, I it can't be that. I've been doing this all my life. It's just something I do. And they're like, oh, no, trust me, this is it. And um, so whatever it is inside of you, if you have a book inside of you, if you have a book inside of you, if you and they keep it, whatever it is for you, they want you to really start exploring that and um, come up with a way to work your purpose and your passion into what your into your daily life. Um as for a job, again, they're going, uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. Um, they want you to focus on what's inside of you. Re oh, um, okay, what's inside of you and w working kind of on that for a minute. And I, I hope this makes sense for you. I know that wasn't the answer you were looking for, but they're saying it's really the answer you need right now. If you jump into a job or another job, 
you're going to end up where you were because you keep you keep doing the same thing you've always done and it's not <laughs> fulfilling your soul so they really want you to look at what will fulfill what <laughs> what will fulfill your soul does that make sense to you <laughs> well i i had an idea of what would what would do that um let's say a couple months ago but that all went by the wayside. <laughs> so I don't see that materializing now at this point. Well, um, unfortunately. Perhaps the timing was wrong. And so perhaps look at a new way to do it. Perhaps. If something was brought to you, it's to be brought through you. That's what I know. That's been my experience. Okay, love? So revisit that okay. and, and keep an open mind on tweaking it or tweaking the way you were doing it. They're saying revisit that. Okay? Well, it's for me, it's the story behind the story that you were talking about. Okay. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. I'm just keeping it out, praying about it. Okay. At well, this point. That's uh, all right. Thank you. You're so welcome. What I can say, listen, just because it doesn't work the first time, the first way, doesn't mean it's not meant to be. Um, sometimes if you would have done it that way, and this is with relationship with jobs, with um, schooling, sometimes if you would have gone down that road, um, the outcome wouldn't be as optimal as it's going to be in the new way, the way you do it next. Okay, so again, if you are on YouTube commenting, thank you so much, um, please call 845-277-9131. If you have a question, I'm going to get to as many people as I can today uh, to answer their questions. Um, the next caller is 415. Hey, California. Hey, Kate. How can I help you? Hey. Um, I definitely, those, some of those messages um, you gave to her were. For me, and that always applies. Excellent. Um, uh, but I want to say to everyone listening, I uh, testimonial, I really recommend a private reading with you. Oh. It, it was an amazing experience. <laughs> Thank and you. So much out of it. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I didn't pay her to say that, just so you know. I didn't no. even know this was her <laughs> when I clicked on her. <laughs> Names don't come up. Not just I just see yeah, a, a, I brought it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So Kate, what's your question? Let's get to you today. What do you want to know? Um well believing that things will work out is for me is about unemployment because it's a mess. It's a complete disaster in California, and my account is kind of on hold. Oh, okay. And um, so I'm got in kind of a pattern. I didn't get my last check from them. It's, it's pending. So it kind of <gasps> put me in a small um, panic. About panic. It. Okay. So, again, um, I'm just going to say this again, and I'm – I know this is not a popular belief amongst some people. Um, I know the story behind the story. There's an agenda. And it makes me livid and sad when I see what's going on to so many great um, countries. It's not only our country. Um, oh, and I just, my mouth just wants to blurb it all out and I know I can't. Um, so what I'm going to say is, again, um, I feel like it is going to go through. Just move quickly. Move very quickly. Be accurate. 
leave no no box unfilled. They're saying no sto- stone unturned. I feel like everything is going to come through very, very quickly. I also, though, feel like this. <laughs> okay. I also feel like the sooner you can get out of there, the better, which can be difficult at this time. However, sometimes you just have to take every everything you can and jump when you can. The longer you wait, the more difficult it becomes. I do, I do truly, truly feel, I truly feel when you get to your new location, what I see mm. is something. So it might be water under the bridge anyway. Well, so. I say, go, you know what, here's, no, 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 that's not, that, that, oh, oh, I'm saying do the steps you need to do, <laughs> Back that up. Right. do those steps you need to do, and then still plan and jump. But what I'm, you know, there is a place <clears throat> energetically um, that works for each one of us, like in certain parts of the world or certain parts of um, the, the country that we live in, where energetically it's so much better for us. And that mm-hmm. energy of that mm-hmm. area just invigorates us. And, the, and And trust me, that can change. You can be in, let's say, California and prosper for like eight years. And then after that eight year cycle, all of a sudden it starts to dry up. And it's it's like chasing a relationship that was good in the beginning and waiting for it to come back. It just it it's not coming back. It's not coming back. It's not coming back. That goodness Mm. isn't coming back. So we have to sometimes jump to another area that actually does have people working that actually does let us prosper that actually is open Mm. up like texas is i'm not saying go to texas but texas is opened up a a number of states have completely reopened a hundred percent congratulations the rest of the governors need to get on that poop anyway again before you blast me i know the story behind the story what we're seeing, we may be being tricked. Okay? Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, go, and this is for you and anybody else listening. If it's not working where you are, if you don't have your freedom, if you are not able to make a viable income, support your family, pay your bills, go someplace you can. That's that's not psychic. That's like common sense. Do that. Do that. Survival first. Okay. Having said that, fill out all the paperwork. Make sure you don't miss anything on the paperwork. It's really important to double, triple check everything. Everything is going to work all out, right. but jump as soon as you can to that new place. Right. Jump as soon as you can to that new location. Um, And I'm going to say for everybody listening, um, belief is a very powerful thing. Belief is extremely powerful. What you believe is what you're going to bring to you. We, if anybody has, and most of us have, uh, know about the law of attraction or the law of the universe and our energy, so on and so forth. So us being in a state of fear for as long as we have is changing our whole world. Get out of the fear. If you weren't afraid, what would you do? If you weren't afraid, who would you be?